Hey, LeBurn98 here with another uh, WHL doubleheader. Uh, game one this time will feature the Kilowak or Chilliwack Bruins versus Vancouver Giants, and game two will feature the Red Deer Rebels versus Edmonton Oil Kings. Uh, two questions I've been uh, getting uh, recently uh, that I thought I could answer on this video. Uh, the first is, what is the SDU clan, uh, or more specifically, what do zombies have to do with hockey? And uh, the big one is, where did I get the game early? Uh, I'll start with the, the game uh, question first. Uh, I have a friend that works at Walmart. Uh, he works in the shipping department. And uh, when it comes to games like this where it's only going to take a day or two before release, or in my case, I got it on Friday and it gets released on Tuesday, uh, sometimes you can get the games early where he'll give me the game and then I just go up to the cash and pay for it. Because uh, more often, if anybody works at retail, they know that uh, uh, the games are already uh, put into the, uh, the database. Uh, so when you go to pay for it, it automatically comes up. So that's how I get that. I, I get a lot of my... Uh, a uh, lot, lot of these type of games. I shouldn't say I get all my games because I, I actually went to try to get Halo Reach from him, but uh, he won't touch that at all. Uh, Microsoft takes that very seriously. Uh, you know, uh, breaking street uh, uh, street date, they take that very seriously. So uh, he wouldn't give me that. But as a consolation prize, I got NHL 11. Uh, the second question was, uh, what is the SCU? Uh, special zombie units thing. Uh, it's actually uh, our clan. Uh, uh, me and another uh, guy uh, started up clan. It was originally as a joke because uh, we play, used to play a lot of Modern Warfare and, and stuff like that and we see everybody has the clan tag and, and things like that so we kind of fell left out so we decided to create something stupid. So, something just something to put up there and it, it looked original. Uh, how we got about the, the SCU uh, clan name is I I love zombie movies. I'll I'll, I'll watch anything with zombies in it. So uh, you know one of, one of my favorite zombie movies that I'm sure would anybody likes zombies likes this is uh, the original Dawn of the Dead by uh, George A. Romero. Uh, and and uh, how we got the SCU or special zombie unit is my friend is a, a, a big fan of the TV show uh, Crime Scene Investigation. As well as uh, uh, Law and Order, Special Victims Unit, and uh, so we decided to add my love for zombies with his uh, love for crime type uh, or cop type shows. So that's how we came up with Special Zombie Unit. Uh, another question I got asked uh, recently was uh, my render settings uh, for the Aver Media TV capture card. Uh, I'll probably go more uh, more uh, in more detail with this. I'll, I I do plan to make a tutorial once I get everything 100% the way I like it. It's, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep these settings because they actually look pretty good. Uh, but anyway, to answer the question, I I have a, a video by uh, uh, a guy named a Astonish. Uh, I actually have the uh, this uh, particular video in the favorites of the SCU clan uh, channel. So if you check the favorites, you'll see the video. And uh, I basically followed his uh, his settings, which were actually for the Hopage HD PVR. I just t tuned it uh, to my uh, my uh, uh, particular card. Uh, one thing I did change that uh, he didn't have is I found that uh, when rendering it with MP4, uh, I found that it was a bit too dark. The final output was a bit too dark. So to combat that. To combat that, uh, what I did is I uh, I added the color correction secondary in the video effects, and I changed I added uh, computer RGB to studio RGB, which brightened it up, which looks a bit too bright when you look at the preview, but when you output it, it looks perfect. So, uh, and another thing, uh, YouTube doesn't really do justice of how it actual actually looks. It looks a it looks a hell of a lot better uh, on my uh, computer. But it still looks pretty good on YouTube. Uh, a lot of people, they use WMV, uh, but the first video I did for the NHL 11 uh, was WMV, but I found the, the frame rate was a bit choppy. A lot of people also use MP4, and I, I think I might just stick with that. Yeah, this is the game here where we had some uh, funny moments. Uh, 
should come up soon. Well, they've regrouped because of their passing, and now they are confusing this team defensively all over the zone. <laughs> that probably should have been a penalty. Got that stick out and poke that puck away. Receives that puck back on the point from down low. Offensive score! Oh, there's our first goal. That's actually a pretty nice deflection goal. Wow, so much of this goal was about timing. Yeah, as a goaltender, you get one piece of it, but the second one, oh, when it changes direction like that, it's really tough to stop. The Giants' offense took a while to get this going, but they're on the board. Yeah, now the question is, can they build on it, Gary? Because this won't hold up as the game winner. So uh, what other games do you guys plan on getting uh, for the rest of the year? Uh, obviously, people who watch these videos uh, want to get NHL. Uh, me personally, uh, I'm not a huge basketball player, but I always liked uh, basketball games, in particular the 2K series. So I'm probably going to pick up NBA 2K11. Uh, I've always enjoyed that series. Uh, another game I, pl I do plan to get is uh, Dead Rising 2. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to get that for the PC. <laughs> oh yeah, there's another goal. I, I like that goal. I thought that was pretty cool. By the way, uh, another game, like I said, I plan to get is Dead Rising 2. Uh, I'm probably going to get it for the 360 because I have the first one for the 360. Uh, but then I thought... You know, I have a gaming computer too. I might get that for the uh, computer, but I don't know. Uh, and then, of course, uh, the other game I'm going to get for the, this year is uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. Uh, you know, people can say what they like about the Call of Duty series, but I always seem to get my money's worth out of them. So, uh, you know, even with, like, Modern Warfare 2, you know, with all, all of its flaws, I still I still pl put over 200 hours into it. Uh, that's obviously combined uh, with... Uh, the, I have it on the PC and the PS3. So, I mean, like, you know, show me other games that can get that many hours in it consistently, you know. There, uh, other than a few RPGs, there isn't many. Especially with games now being around 60 or, or more, you know, with DLC. Uh, you know, you gotta be selective a lot of times if you don't have a ton of money to spend. So those are like the big three for the the end of the year. I'm sure I'm missing something. I'm, you know, I'm a type of guy who'll go into the store and like not even plan to buy a game and then buy one. So, so, but I, by the next time you talk to me, I'll probably have another game. Oh yeah, by the way, how did I, how did I forget about Reach? Yeah, Halo Reach as well. I'm probably gonna get that, so. And then uh, next year, I think I'm going to get, uh, well not that I think, I know I'm going to get uh, uh, Killzone 3, that's in February, I believe. So that's uh, early next year. And uh, I think that's pretty much it that I can think of. I, I mean, I'm sh I, know, I know for a fact that I, you know, I'm saving up some money uh, for uh, Steam on the, the computer. Because uh, Valve has usually has some crazy sales uh, around and after Christmas, uh, you know these big crazy Steam sales where you can get games for like five bucks, ten bucks, you know. And these are like not some crap games. These are like games that probably last year were full price, you know. Uh, I got Street Fighter 4 last year, uh, I think for ten bucks. So, and then uh, Grand Theft Auto 4, I believe, also for ten bucks. And uh, a bunch of games like that. So uh, my friend got uh, the Call of Duty pack, uh, I think, for 30, and that included uh, everything up until uh, Call of Duty 4. So, so it's a great way to uh, get games if uh, you have a bit of patience and, and you can wait. And you know, to be honest with you, how many how many of us can? <laughs> you know, when when we see games like this, you know, we want them right away. But if you have patience, uh, Steam's a good way to get the. A lot of games for value. Goaltender's got that one underneath. We'll get a face off. Yeah, this game's featuring the Edmonton Oil Kings. Uh, a lot of a lot of my friends and a lot of people that know me I don't realize that I used to live in Alberta uh, when I was younger, up until I was around eight years old, I believe. Uh, I lived in, uh, I don't know if anybody who's from Edmonton area knows this, but uh, 
Fort McMurray. Uh, I used to live there for a, a while. I heard it's really changed now. We got a lot bigger. But uh, uh, Fort McMurray is about a, an hour's drive away from Edmonton. Uh, I've never been there, but uh, my, my father has uh, at the West Edmonton Mall. Uh, I always wanted to go there when I was a kid, but never uh, got the chance. But uh, when you live in Alberta, pretty much like everything you used to see on uh, Hockey Night in Canada was Edmonton Oilers, you know, like all the time. And then plus when they had uh, Wayne Gretzky, that's all you heard was Wayne Gretzky, you know. <laughs> and when you're when you're a Leafs fan, you know, uh, especially back in those days where it's not like now with satellite and cable you can watch multiple feeds of different games. And, you know, back then it was basically you had your local feed and that's it. So you either watched Edmonton or you didn't watch the game at all. Uh, luckily, uh, uh, in today's day of age, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, you know, you could be a, a fan of any particular team, and it, there's a good chance you're going to be able to watch your games, especially now with uh, uh, specialty packages like uh, NHL Center Ice and, and stuff like that. Yeah, this game here wasn't as exciting as the first one, uh, especially the first one where I had the uh, back-to-back uh, post shots. Yeah, uh, anyway, uh, I was thinking uh, uh, about our clan uh, I might, I might uh, make make, man, make that a more serious clan. So if anybody's interested in joining a clan, and we plan to have clans not just for specific games, even though we have zombies in the title, it's not going to be specifically like Left 4 Dead or, or anything like that. It, it's all games. Uh, right now I even have it uh, for Uncharted 2. Uh, if you want to join the clan, uh, you don't have to be super great at the game, you know. Uh, just... Uh, uh, leave me a message, uh, either personal message me uh, on YouTube or you can add add me on uh, PSN, uh, it's uh, Laburn98, uh, Xbox 360 is also Laburn98, uh, although to be honest with you I haven't really played uh, uh, online for oh, a few months now and I, I don't plan to anytime soon, uh, but nevertheless you can still add me on there. Uh, I do play on the PC sometimes, so there's some games from Windows Live uh, where you might see me online, but for the most part, uh, I seldom play Xbox online anymore. Uh, the video looks like it's going to end soon, so uh, uh, I'll end my commentary here. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm, uh, I really like doing these videos for you. And uh, anyway, uh, so until next time, uh, this is LeBird98 signing off. That's the first 20. EA Sports. It's in the game.